What's up YouTube, Loy here today. I'm a climber based out of Montreal, Quebec, and today I'm doing a solo moonboard sesh. The goal of this session is really to try as hard as possible. I've been super inspired by Zach Richardson on his YouTube channel so far, and in the past couple sessions, I've been climbing with Toma and Victor, and we've been going absolutely crazy, and I've been really, really inspired and motivated to keep grinding and breaking the body. Now I'm just gonna warm up on the board, do some easier boulders, and then I'm gonna work up to some projects. So let's get right on. Well, that was unexpected. I climbed that absolutely horribly, but that that last move was really awkward. So um, I did it, uh, but that was pretty brutal. Ow! Oh. So yeah, moonboard is notoriously like hard, and like Toma likes to say, it's the only time where you can feel your warm up, like I just did there. So we'll keep doing some more volume, kind of really activate the fast switch muscles. So I'm gonna do another V4, but then we'll slowly build up and do some harder stuff. I mean, these are my first two climbs of the day, so it looks pretty rough, and I climb pretty rough, but hopefully, hopefully the movement starts getting better because it's, it's been wonky. One of the reasons that I really like the moonboard is just that it's really hard. Like these V4s are not not tricky. They're just like, you, they're demanding. That's the right word. They just make you have to try kind of hard. I think that's what been one of the things that's been really lacking in my climbing lately is that because I've been training for comp climbing, I'm trying to find all the easiest positions. So if it feels hard, I don't want to just pull through it. But because of that, I just can't do some of the same moves that I used to be able to do, which is annoying. So I'm gonna try to bring back that really, really try hard mode. I'm gonna do one more V4 and then I'm gonna start warming up on the project. Hopefully I can do this one really clean. I hate sweaty skin. Dude, did you see that? That was brutal. Hopefully that doesn't limit me on the project, but I'm feeling okay. Let's see how it goes. So this is the proj, I guess. It's called Plevin Style DG. It's a V10 on the moonboard. I got really close to doing it before I left for Squamish, and ever since then, I just really haven't been moonboarding, so hopefully I can like pull it all together. I basically dropped the second last move, which is like, should have been my easy move, which is sad, but hopefully I can do it today. If not, it's, it'll be a great training session. Ah! Oh man, that was actually a really good first bird. So that's a good sign. Started sweating a little bit, but 
Hopefully it's okay. I took like a maybe four minute rest and my skin is already sweating so much. So, ugh, so annoying. But let's see how this one goes. I actually feel like I can do it. I hesitated quite a lot there. It felt felt good to hold the yellow hold. So yeah, let's see. Let's see where this takes us. Another rest, six minutes up. Time for another burn. Let's see how it goes. I grabbed the yellow hold wrong. I grabbed it too high and it wasn't deep enough. If you didn't know, this board is shallow poured. So that means that the holds are less deep. And so it really matters where you grab these holds because ah, I was just like half a pad too high on the yellow hold. But I'm feeling better. Every attempt is actually better. So hopefully I can just snatch that left hold and not punt at the end. A little too hype, a little too hype, not enough technique. <laughs> Remember, one of the most important things is to drink some water. You gotta stay hydrated during your sessions or you're gonna lose power. It's just straight sports science. So drink some water. Okay, I took a little rest. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of rage, but a more controlled rage. Not too crazy like last time. Last time was a little too hard. Okay, let's see how it goes. Freaking had it, dude. Literally in my hands and I just let go. Okay, soon. Maybe maybe my left hand wasn't quite warmed up, but oh my gosh, I grabbed the right hand so good. I'm really doing some really close attempts. Basically, I'm expecting that if I hit that move, the boulder's over for me, but I'm just like, my momentum, my hips are just a little out and I'm not hitting it perfectly because it is a little far. So I might switch up the beta. There is a shorter person beta, but it's just so much harder. It's just like a super lock off high foot back flag. And I don't know if that's gonna be any better for me. Maybe I should just do it properly, breathe, stick it. I don't know. I'm gonna try that lock off beta just once to just test it, see if it is better today. We'll find out. I didn't quite get the pinch right, but I don't think that's gonna work. It's just too savage for me right now. Ugh, it's really annoying. Took a really long rest. Let's see if it's this time. I was completely on the left hold and it just <sighs> exploded. I like, I didn't get my pinky on. <clears throat> that felt so good. I'll give it like two more tries, then maybe we'll move on. <sighs> I think I gotta call it quits on this boulder. The skin kinda cooled down and it really hurts. So, just ran out of skin, I guess. But I'm gonna go 
try some other stuff on the wall, maybe just move a little bit more, and then uh, we'll wrap up the session. I did this boulder uh, last session in the vlog. I didn't get it on uh, video, so I'm gonna try to resend it right here. It's quite difficult, so not too sure. Yeah, I completely ran out of chalk on that attempt. We'll try it again. I don't know if I have it in me to redo this boulder. Okay, did it. That's pretty sick. I'm pretty destroyed, but I got a little bit more to give and the goal is to destroy the body, right? So let me find something else to climb. I'm just gonna do this uh, black tape, do a couple more problems and we'll just call it a vid. That's always, that one's always fun to repeat. The second move is actually I didn't flash it and like it's droppable for me. So you gotta focus up a little bit. Okay, one last boulder and then we'll, we'll roll the credits. I'm gonna go try this pinchy black tape and then maybe, maybe one more boulder. I keep saying last one. Maybe this red tape because it's fun. That one's a little tricky. Always a little tricky, those pinches. I kind of messed up my first move. Didn't flick the hip in properly. Kept it together, got the send. Okay, last one for real. I'm just gonna do this red tape, have some fun, and get out of here. Unexpected foot slip. Okay, let's do that one for real. <laughs> okay, and there we have it. I hope you guys liked watching that try hard session. Moonboard is really, really hard, but hopefully I can get that boulder down. And I hope you learned something from this little video. YouTube thinks this video is kind of cool for you to watch. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next week.